Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to your July love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Progressed, Venus, Mercury, wherever you can find it in your chart. We're going to take a look at the overall love energy this week and take a look at you, what's going on with you, and then who's coming towards you, their feelings for you. So like and subscribe. The Wheel of Fortune. So something turning this week. The wheels turning this week. What goes up must come down. Take a chance this week. So overall energy means that things could turn out in your favor. It's also the wheel of karma though. So if you're, you know, remember that actions, all actions have a reaction, the consequences for everything we do and say. So if you've been putting out some good stuff, you're going to get back some good stuff. If you've been putting out some bad stuff, you're going to get back the consequences of that. All right, so 50-50 energy here, depending on what your circumstance is. The Wheel of Fortune can show an unexpected opportunity happening this week, one that you didn't see coming. And so let's see what shows up for you. Could be a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy around you. Um, but I like to look at that card overall as luck's on your side. All right, things, there's always an opportunity for things to change and we don't always know, we don't know what we don't know. We don't know when something, anytime you, you're watching this video, you could click off this video and the door knocks and there could be a delivery, a million dollars. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen outside of what you think can happen. So let's see you. Let's see you, what kind of luck's on your side this week? What kind of turn of events is happening this week? Ten of Swords. All right, so some of you, that's all about liberation in this deck. Some of you setting yourself free. Some of you taking a chance and deciding to walk away from a situation. All right. We've got the Father energy, so I could be talking some of you Divine Masculines. All right, maybe setting yourself free. Maybe you took a chance on something and it wasn't for you. Or maybe you've put enough work or you've really thought about things. And and for some of you, this could be it's time for you now to take a chance on new love coming in or the relationship that you're currently in. You know, you've been through, you've been through a lot of pain in the past with that uh, Ten of Swords, but you've come so far. So the Wheel of Fortune says, you know, whatever you want, whatever you expect, whatever you put in, you'll get in return. So let's see choice you have a choice to make this week full energy i'm getting a strong energy of some of you being pulled to kind of set yourself free got the eight of wands some of you talking to a lot of people or thinking about talking to people or thinking about going on a trip or traveling this week some of you you have a lot of options here when it comes to um potential and relationships and some of you, the Ten of Swords, you've been freed from, um, you know, marriage or long-term commitment or something painful. And now you're making this choice to get back out there. And there's a lot of options for you this week. A lot of communication, a lot of texting, a lot of messaging, activity. And I have abundance. So you've got the card of abundance. It's going to be a good week for some of you who are really seeking if you're out there dating, you're really seeking, or if some of you are thinking about walking away from a situation that's that's not fulfilling you, this week is a week for you to really, really find happiness and abundance when it comes to um, partners or seeking communication and dating other people. But you have a choice to make with that Wheel of Fortune and, and the Choice card. Do you give something a fresh start? Do you give something um, another chance? What do you move on? All right. I've got the Six of Swords. I see you moving on from something this week. There's a lot of energy about you wanting to travel or go somewhere, or go do something. Just you want some sort of freedom. You know, you've got a lot of responsibilities here. The father energy, the boss, the big man. Could be male or female. It doesn't have to be just a divine masculine. But, um does seem like you have an opportunity coming in this week that could bring in um, a new path for you that would be 
what you're looking for, what you want. And so it's a big choice to make. Do I stay stuck or stay in a situation that I'm not sure if it's fulfilling me? Or do I move on? Do I move past this? Let's see who's on your mind or who's, who's around you. This could also be a choice of, you know, just because I'm coming up with certain scenarios doesn't mean that this choice can't be, you know, maybe you've had, you've been down and out. Maybe you've been through a separation with somebody and now you're thinking about reconciling or, or reaching out or messaging or communicating and you guys will clear up any misunderstandings. You know, it can work in that way too with these cards. You know, you've got the choice card, which is the fool card. You've got the eight of wands, you have the card of abundance and you've got the six of swords and you have the 10 of swords right? So, and the father card is the emperor, which is somebody who wants to establish a strong foundation. Well, your person, the nine of swords, there's a lot of anxiety, the nine and ten of swords between you and this person, this person losing sleep right now, maybe feeling a little bit of regret. Uh, I got the six of pentacles. They want to make things right, bring a balance. It's very care and supportive energy. Very um, love and energy between the two of you. And I feel like um, it's equal give and take here. This person really cares about you, right? The Tower card, though, there is some sort of separation or it could be an Aries or an idea of moving or there's something breaking down in this relationship. And it's almost like for some of you, it seems as though I don't want to give up on this, though. Maybe there's financial problems structure problems a lot of drama um maybe this relationship wasn't built on a strong solid foundation but um they they care about you so you guys care about mutual mutual affection for one another but there could be a lot shaken up in your life right now and this could be why the two of you are feeling uncertain about the relationship all right we got the ten of pentacles all right, so they, it's like they, they want to develop, it some, seems like there's finances or family values or family issues um, that's happening here. But this person still wants to balance things out and wants to, um, you got the tens in here, doesn't want to give up on this. And I got the six of wands, their intentions, they want to, they want to overcome this and move forward. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They want to bring harmony back to this relationship. So this person does not want to give up on this relationship. But you have a choice to make because it seems like some of you are wanting to free yourself. And, you know, your person's at the Nine of Swords, but you're showing up as the Ten of Swords. And there is a possibility that you guys could iron things out because of the um, investment that's here. I don't know how this would apply, you know, to a single person right now. But over here, if you're single, it shows a good week of talking to a lot of people and meeting a lot of people, being abundant. Um, if you've been stuck in a rut, the Six of Swords says things are showing up for you right now, clearing up. And Eight of, eight of Wands is a lot of communication. But on this side, it's showing if you are in a relationship with somebody, it's 50-50. I mean, you guys can reconcile, but it does feel cancer like you're ready to move on. And this person still, they it's like they're watching it crumble, but they still want to hold on. And they still believe that you guys can make things successful. All right. And I've got the Four of Cups. There's an energy of stagnancy here, needing to go within and... Four of Cups is about contemplation and meditation, but also feeling bored and feeling apathetic, um, not feeling like things are turning out the way they expected. But there is a lot of love there between the two of you. So let's see what the Love Oracle says. You've got three sixes in this, so it's a lot of love in this relationship. But maybe you guys are more friends than... There's not a lot of um, strong romance here or passion. But this person believes that you guys can be successful and you can bring harmony to this relationship. You are the love of my life. 
I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. That's that tower moment. There's so much I want to tell you. I, so I see this great supportive energy between the two of you guys. And I have sexual fantasies about you. So I still do. I'm still attracted to you is what that can say to me. But I still have growing to do. And I've got reminiscence. So they're reminiscent about um, the good stuff. About this. this person doesn't want to give up on this situation just yet. Cancer. All right. So let's see. Um, let's see Aries through Pisces. Let's see Aries through Pisces. For those of you that have somebody on their mind. On your mind. Somebody you might be thinking about. See what they're thinking. See what the connection says. Aries. I just have something else to do right now. Please try and understand. Taurus, being a part has been life-changing for me. Gemini, I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. Cancer, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Leo, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Virgo, you feel like home to me. Libra, I feel safer in the silence. Scorpio, seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. Sagittarius, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Capricorn, I'm reminded of you constantly. Aquarius, you are an angel. And Pisces, I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. All right, Cancer, I love you. I hope you have a great week and things turn out in your favor. Sounds like uh, they will. Um, sounds like you're in a good place and you have good energy around you. So the Wheel of Fortune says, you know, take your chances and uh, luck is on your side. So I love you and take care.